there. It's Sylvia Dana with EXP Realty, and I live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I am giving you a little tip today on KV Core, your KV Core website, and how to add a custom page. So that's what this is going to be about today. Hopefully, it's going to be short and sweet. We'll see how I do. <laughs> okay, so. What we're going to be adding, though, is we are going to be adding a Homekeeper custom page. Homekeeper is a um, free tool that we get as eXp agents. It gives us branded blog posts and a lot of other things that I'm going to show you in a minute. But first, let me show you this custom page. Right now, I have my custom page um, named Homeowner Tips. This is just something I chose. So it goes to this custom page, and in this custom page, I have got these branded blog posts. So I also have these little instructions. So I'm going to scroll down, and I've got all different kind of topics here. Welcoming your plants back after a long winter. Three better ways to track your home-related expenses. See, so some great resources for homeowners. Ooh, all about smart home technologies and windows and weather stripping. Plumbing, um, home improvement, ooh, even photography, drone and real estate photography, that's great for sellers to know about. Healthy chimneys, credit mistakes for buyers. So as you can see, there's a lot of great content, and these are all branded to you blog posts. Let me show you what one looks like. Maybe. Here's one. So I'm helping out Connie. I'm helping her with her website. And this is one of her blog posts. You can see it's branded to her. Great picture. All her information here. She can um, use these links to go ahead and share on any social media site or use her link here. Um, and she can also email this to her sphere if she wants to. Um, her past clients. Um, as you can see, it's a really simple but effective blog post. You could do all kinds of different things with this blog post. You could localize it to your area, change it around if you put it in a different blog, but that's 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 a session for another day. But as you can see, there's a lot of other related articles here. Um, let's see if we can find some other blog posts. Let's see. Just to give you an idea, these are another um, related blog post that are going to be about plants and planting. But one thing I wanted to show you is this particular area here. It says no results found for recommendations. What this is, is what is your Homekeeper app as an agent will allow you to refer local vendors like soil people, like plant specialists, landscapers, um, any kind of vendor, electricians, hairstylists, dentists, um, credit repair specialists, finance people, insurance people, whatever, whatever. You can recommend anybody you want. What they would do is they would join your app and um, they would become a vendor. So for vendors, What's great about this is you have this Homekeeper app and your clients can have this app and look up these different articles and also search for recommendations. Hmm, who does my agent recommend for cleaning out my gutters or for power washing my house? Those kind of things. So you can create great vendor relationships by referring them with your app. You can also create great relationships with your potential clients or your past clients and let them know you have this great app to help them find contractors in their area and provide them with great content. So that's just a little snippet of some things that Homekeeper does. Okay, so that's why you want to use it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, again, I'm going to show you how to add this custom page to your KV Core website. Okay. So what we're going to do is go into our KV Core dashboard. Now, again, I'm helping out Connie. And what we're going to do is click on Web and IDX. And what we're going to be doing is adding a custom page. 
So this is the website manager. Um, we've got this section here, website content. And under website content, you will see custom pages. She doesn't have any. I'm gonna click on view and edit. Easy so far, right? Okay. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we are gonna add a custom page. Before we do this, however, um, I want to go back to my Homekeeper widget and grab the content that I need to create this page. So I'm going to go back to Connie's Homekeeper. I'm going to click on her home page here. So I'm on Connie's Homekeeper for Pros dashboard. Okay, so this is her account. So if this were you, this would be your own account. And I am going to go to widgets. Embed Homekeeper on your website. Click on Embed Widget. Now, it's going to give you your trusted pros widget or your blog widget. In this case, I want the blog widget. I'm going to choose, and here's a preview of it, I'm going to choose the iframe code, okay? That's the the type of code that I want to select. I can just click on copy code or I could select that copy and because I'm old school, that's what I do. <laughs> and copy it. And now I'm going to go back to my KV core and I'm going to click on new page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a title. So I had homeowner tips. Maybe, um, maybe Connie just wants to call it Homekeeper Blog. Okay. You can name it whatever you want. Now I have code here. I don't want to just paste that code in here. That won't do anything. But there's this little button here called Source Code. Click on that and then paste your source code in there. Ta-da! Now, I am going to steal the little instructions um, that I had on my website to add to hers. Because I think when people get on here, um, they don't really realize that this is a scrollable type widget. So that's why I'm doing that. So I need to go back and find it. So I see the blinking, gosh, I'm getting old and I can't remember what you call that thing, but that thing. <laughs> I'm going to paste that those little directions right there. Um, now, we don't have any categories for custom pages right now, so I'm not going to try to add one. Um, I'm going to leave it for right now. Oh, but then it says it needs one. Hmm, the category drop down or category. Okay, it's re uh, it's required. Look at that. It's been so long since I've done this, I forgot. Um, I'm going to Give it the category of homeowners. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Now, a meta tag description and meta tag keywords. What this particular, um, these particular fields, fields are going to help with your SEO. And it is optional. So we can do a two sentence overview of this page. Get get valuable home owner tips um, regarding finances, home improvements, smart home technology, and so much more. And I'm going to put now some keywords of how people might find 
this page. Home improvements, electrician, contractor, recommendations, home owner. So those are a few keywords I'm going to try. Um, I could put an RSS feed in here. I'm not going to do that right now. That is a, <laughs> that's a class for another day. And I'm not going to add a child site, okay? And I'm going to hit save. All right. So now it's active on her page. Let's see. It's probably going to take a bit to show up. That's one thing that happens with KV Core. But let's let's find out there it is homekeeper blog all right and there it is on her page see that and there you go that's how you do it. I hope this little tip was helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day.